Now, if you're a non-Christian, let me ask you, how do you think Christianity originated? How could the early Christians proclaim to the people in Jerusalem, the very city that had watched Jesus die on the cross, that Jesus was now alive? My point to you is this. There is strong historical for Jesus' resurrection. It can't be ignored. Facts just don't disappear, and they are a sound foundation for a faith commitment to Jesus if you so decide. Dr. Habermas summarizes. Well, now maybe uh, you might have a better idea of what I mean here when I said at the, at the top of the program that we do have a good basis. Now I'm talking about the center of Christianity, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we can get into a time frame that Paul is talking about this back about 35 AD with two of the central figures, Peter the head apostle, James the brother of Jesus, the pastor of the Church of Jerusalem. This is a strong basis and this is the sort of thing that makes me uh, surprised when I hear people saying, hey, there's no evidence here and there. And I just want to assure the person who's listening who said, well, you know, do we have to listen to these guys who say there's no historical basis, we can barely find anything? Let them, you know, deal with this sort of data right here. 1 Corinthians 15 slash Galatians 1 and 2 is a strong basis for the gospel. And, and you know, let me remind you here again, we're not talking with periphery things here. We're talking with a very center of the faith. Paul says he's met the resident Jesus on the way to Damascus. He's going up to talk to Peter and James. He comes back 14 years later. He wants to see if he was running or had run in vain. And they said, no, 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 you're not. So they're checking him in Galatians 2. They said, you're fine. In 1 Corinthians 15, 11, he says, whether it is I or they, so we preach and so you believe. In other words, he was watching them too. He's got his approval on their message and they're approving him. The point is, the gospel they preached is the same, and that includes the deity of Christ, his death, his resurrection. We're on very important grounds here and very solid grounds.